Hello! In this video, I will talk about two more groups of trigonometric identities, and these are the quotient identities and the Pythagorean identities. So, let's talk about the quotient identities first. The quotient identities are tangent of theta equals sine of theta over cosine of theta and cotangent of theta equals cosine of theta over sine of theta. To understand these identities, let's recall how the trigonometric functions are defined. In a right triangle with an acute angle theta, the sides x and y and the hypotenuse r, sine of theta is y over r and cosine of theta is x over r. Now, let's see what happens if we divide sine of theta by cosine of theta. We know that sine of theta is y over r and cosine of theta is x over r. Then here r will cancel and we will get y over x and to the left we see that y over x is tangent of theta. So all this equals tangent of theta. Then we can say that tangent of theta is sine of theta over cosine of theta. Now to the right, let's divide cosine of theta by sine of theta. So we will write cosine of theta over sine of theta equals, and here cosine is x over r and sine is y over r. Then again r will cancel and we will get x over y. And to the left, x over y is cotangent of theta. So then x over y equals cotangent of theta. So now we can say that cotangent of theta is cosine of theta over sine of theta. Now let's talk about the Pythagorean identities. We have three of them and the first one is sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals 1. The second one is 1 plus tangent squared of theta equals secant squared of theta. And the third, 1 plus cotangent squared of theta equals cosecant squared of theta. To understand these identities, let's recall the Pythagorean theorem. In a right triangle with two sides x and y and the hypotenuse r, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. In this equation, let's divide both sides by r squared. Then on the left side we will have x squared over r squared, y squared over r squared, and on the right side r squared over r squared. Now we will write the first fraction as x over r all squared, the second fraction as y over r all squared, and the right side will be 1. Now in the table to the left, x over r is cosine of theta and y over r is sine of theta. Then if we replace, we will get cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta equals 1. And this is the first identity. Now let's write again x squared plus y squared equals r squared and now let's divide both sides by x squared. Then on the left side we will have x squared over x squared, y squared over x squared, and on the right side r squared over x squared. Then x squared over x squared is 1, and we will write the second fraction as y over x all squared. And the right side r over x all squared. Then in the table to the left, y over x is tangent of theta and r over x is secant of theta. Then if we replace, we will get 1 plus tangent squared of theta equals secant squared of theta. And this is the second identity. And now let's have x squared plus y squared equals r squared one more time and this time we will divide both sides by y squared. 
Then the first fraction, we will write it as x over y all squared. The second fraction is 1. And to the right, we will write r over y all squared. Now in the table to the left, x over y is cotangent and r over y is cosecant. So if we replace, we will have cotangent squared of theta plus 1 equals cosecant squared of theta. And this is the third identity. Thank you for watching the whole video. Please give me a like and come back for more math.